Now, here at Central Valley Talk, everybody gets a voice. If you've got something to say, as long as it's not a hate speech or something, we want you to come on the show and share with us. To that end, we've invited a special guest in who is going to be anonymous, which is okay with us, and we're going to call this guest Justice. That's what you call yourself. Uh, Indeed. Tell us a little bit about your, yourself, Justice. Um, I just basically go where I'm needed. Okay. Um, you're needed here today, thank goodness. I guess you're here. I'm needed here today, and so I'm I'm thankful to to uh, to be invited. Right. Now you speak. said I could pick any guest, any subjects to talk about. If it's okay, let's start with healthcare. Healthcare. Um, to me, uh, each individual person has a voice, mm-hmm. whether they seem to be mute, where they only speak with sign language, or if they have a need, there's, there's something that they need to speak sometimes. Mm-hmm. And having an interpreter can be beneficial, yeah. but um, having your own personal um, voice can, can be um, imperative to being able to um, advocate for oneself with a doctor um, or a medical are, professional. I think people are boxed in now. Like You don't get to choose your doctors. You don't get to choose what kind of care you have. Well, um, that seems to be the, the, the universal question. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you, you, you can get a laundry list of, of names, but it's good to have basically somewhat of a resume of their uh, their qualification mm-hmm. to because we, we don't ask if they're qualified or what school they went to the doctors yeah they they kind of um, design your forum for you right. it's it seems to be in my observation so it's very um, it's very imperative that a person be able to speak whether they're very young. Mm-hmm. Um, or whether they are f- of a uh, time where it's difficult to walk or they're in the wheelchair yeah. or they uh, have some kind of um, imperative uh, ability to, to speak. But each, as I say, has a voice over their own body. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that is very difficult for some people to understand sometimes in the medical field is that such as yourself – you have your own voice over your own body. You know, I would like to try this option that has not been explored. Sometimes you've got to um, educate the medical professional yourself yeah. when your own needs are, are, are not being quantified or met. And you can change doctors, mm-hmm. you know, rapidly if you need to, if they do not listen right. to your needs. Well, let me ask you yes. this, something I don't know a lot about, but I'm interested in learning about, holistic care. What's the difference between the traditional? They're always trying to prescribe you medicine, medicine, medicine. Tell me about holistic care and that option. Well, Pfizer has taken over Monsanto, which is a giant uh, in um, pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. Um, They're worldwide. Um, And much has been um, discovered with vaccines, um, which seems to be the regular push and remedy for s- such as born or infant. Yeah. But some um, celebrities have deterred against it. I've, I've heard some de- celebrity people that were very brave to say, no, not for my children. Mm-hmm. And um, um, their voice resonated with me. Yeah. It's a stronger voice. Uh, it's a very strong, yeah. recognized um, uh face of the public. But, you know, some people want, um, want to um, basically explore uh, chiropractic care, which there seems to be um, actual um, scientific exploration of remedy that is, has healed people mm. through chiropractic care. And then people have for thousands of years used um, herbs and Chinese medicine yeah. to cure ailments. Yeah. Now, I recently read mm-hmm. acupuncture. There's a lot of scientific basis for that, too. Have you oh, read I'm going to shake your hand on okay. that one. All righty. Acupuncture seems to be a, a remedy uh, for um, many ailments. Right. Um, there's a woman from India, um, 
called Nubudrapad. Um, her, it's called Nayat, Nubudrapad's Allergy Elimination Technique. Mm. And she has a PhD. She's, uh, she had severe allergies, mm -hmm. severe allergies. It was almost impossible to, to be able to function regularly. And she found that she cured herself wow. through a holistic medicine and became, she was more into the, the um, Western method. Mm -hmm. And then she turned holistic. Mm -hmm. And she, she, she has emphasized um, uh, in, in many of her books, she has multiple books, a multitude of books she's written um, about um, her technique. And it's um, non-invasive. Um, it, it, it lists... It's not pharmaceutical It's not either, pharmaceutical. Though. It's non-invasive, again, I emphasize, non-invasive technique that your body tells you what it needs. Hmm. Your body tells you what it needs. Your body, your body tells knows. you. Well, yes. some of these holistic things, you know, have been around for a thousand years, like you said... And Western medicine, we don't know why it works, but it works. And if it's working, we better be thinking about, we better listen to that a little bit. Is that mostly, you think, from Eastern traditions, this holistic? Uh, ho there's many, many uh, methods that, that went through India. Aye. Uh, India. And they believe they're very, originally with very peaceful people. Mm -hmm. And um, and then there's a lot that went in Japan. Um, there's different continents of so different cultures, and, and all these things are working together um, with things that have been beneficial and unchanging for mm -hmm. thousands of years yeah. that, that seem to have been uh, working. And then the, you can you, you can implement some of these modalities mm -hmm. that that. Uh, that can change with the time, but they stay pretty universal. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, because we're going to run out of time in about three or four, three minutes here. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of uh, success in what do you call uh, uh, animals, uh, people who, service animals, I guess you'd call it. Oh, yes, yes. So um, for veterans or for everyone? For for every person of the need. Okay. You know, um, pe people It doesn't have, have to be a dog, right? It doesn't have to be a dog. It can be a cat. Um, it can be uh, a chicken. Mm -hmm. A chicken can, you know. Yeah. And I what mean, is it that a service animal to bring peace to your? To peace to you. Yeah. Um, they 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 may calm your nerves mm -hmm. when you're feeling stressed. Um, a, a dog, a service animal dog, can go with you. When you go shopping, yeah. when you are Helps renting, release some anxiety. Release anxiety. Gives you something you're familiar with, uh, another being that you're familiar with yes, and comfortable and with. Yes, animal and um, uh, they they uh, can prevent you from from if if you have post traumatic stress disorder, which many mm -hmm. people do. There it seems to be a uh, there's more than few these yeah. days. Um, well, but it, the, 10, 10, 20, I mean, 30 yeah. years ago, we didn't know that there was post-traumatic stress disorder, and there's a lot of people running around who had it. Thank goodness it's finally been diagnosed for people. Yes, and and therapy and companion animal, uh, by law, mm -hmm. uh, can can be with you anytime you leave or go R anywhere. Restaurant, grocery store, Anywhere, yeah. yes, okay, absolutely. Yeah. Right on the right on the bus. Well, that's with you. new to a lot of people. So people need to hear what you're saying and know yes. that if there's a dog, it's okay because it's legal now. It's the yes. law that they can have that. Yes. Listen, we have about one minute left, and usually at this point in the interview, I just say, "Hey, is there anything else in about a minute that you want to tell our viewers, or you want our viewers to know? Maybe uh, can we talk? You want to talk about any of this demonstration, or is that for later?" Um. Well, I'd like to talk. Anything about, you want to say? I'll just. It's your floor. I I'd like to talk about um, freedom. The freedom and liberty that is entitled to every human being on this planet, okay. including many animals, um, that everybody has a voice. When you feel like you're in silence in the room and you have a pillow over your head, you have a voice. You do. That's all I have to say. Very good. Our guest, and thank you for coming. 
Okay. There's a reason justice is here. I mean, the way planets align or God works or whatever, you're here for a reason, and we're here at this time, the same time. Justice is our guest, and we hope she comes back. We'll talk to you again some more. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.